Hey everybody! Alright, so today I'm going to be doing um, a little tutorial on how I am currently putting my wigs on now. Um, I'm finding a little bit better hold. I've tried so many different things to get it to just stick right. So um, this one's been working pretty well. Sometimes it works better than others. Sometimes it works for like a whole week and a half. Another time it'll work for like three days. So I don't understand why depending on the elements around me, how this is deciding to stick. But um, this one's been working pretty good, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So the first things first, I always start with cleaning my area that I'm going to put the glue or tape on with either an alcohol um, or the Stride um, alcohol-free sensitive skin. Um, with aloe. This I've been using also to clean my head and also if you got um, any residue on your wig those are really good to clean the perimeter with if it gets a little oily. Um, the, if I use that on, even if I've washed the wig first, then I put this, um, the stride, I use that on the outside or the inside of the lace, cleans it up and it makes your um, hold a lot better because it sticks better because there's no oil or whatever else. But it seems like that works. I don't know what's in it that is making it work better than other things, um, but that has been helping. Um, then I put a thin layer of scalp protector on my perimeter, which I've already done. The uh, Davlin waterproof, um, the black, the Davlin Black, uh, Ghost Bond XL, this is the new one, and um, just regular tape, any tape. So let's go ahead and get started then. The Davlin or Ultra Hold. I'm out of Ultra Hold right now. I'm going to be using the Davlin, which I've used a couple times as well. It really seems to work. Um, and it comes with this brush. So I ditch the brush, and I'm going to use a popsicle stick, and I'm just going to pour the Davlin onto the popsicle stick. And then I just put a thin layer around the front. I'm going to start with the front, and then I'm going to do the back separately. And I just use the popsicle stick to just kind of smooth it, smooth it down, get it in the area that I want. So take your time with it. This is sticky stuff. You don't want to get it stuck where you don't want glue stuck. I'm going to fast forward. Well, so about half this video did not even record. So I'm going to go back over it so that you have the information. And I use my roll of tape and I apply tape. You can kind of see it. I apply it right along the perimeter and then back behind my ears. I stick that on and then immediately I take my Ghost Bond XL. And I apply it again with the popsicle stick, um, and I apply it right over the tape. And so it's going to be kind of sticky, so you get a good amount of the Ghost Bond on your popsicle stick so that it glides a little bit better, but just don't put a ton of, or big, big glob. So you kind of want to work it in until you don't see any white globs anymore. Um, and I just stuck my ear to the back of my head. Yay! <laughs> Um, so be careful of that. And you're going to let it dry for about 20 seconds. So you're, we're going to do four layers, four layers of the Ghost Bond XL. We're going to wait about 20 to 30 seconds in between each layer. The cool thing about the Ghost Bond is, is that you're putting it right over the tape, which the tape tends to get really glossy and when you can get really shiny. So a lot of times if you're wearing a full lace wig with ta just tape, um, you have to put like, or I tend to put um, like face powder over those areas that are visible to people so that they don't see it's very shiny and that's kind of like, what's wrong with your head? You're very shiny and over your hairline. Um, so I tried to do the powder. It doesn't always work. It looks kind of funny. This is going to really reduce the shine on the tape and so you're not going to see it. All right, so now that this is on my last layer, four layers, I'm going to let it dry for about seven to ten minutes. Again, if you are worried about the time, let it go a little longer. Flip this bad boy around and kind of start getting it somewhat where I want it to be. All right, so I'm going to bring it down right on top of the glue like this. Okay, so I normally get just the front portion put down where I need it to be, 
And then I start working on one of the sides. And I kind of pull on it a little bit just to stretch it just a, a little bit so that it kind of gets in the right spot. And then I just kind of use my fingers and um, kind of rub slash scratch into the, the glue, kind of pressing and moving it. Just want to kind of work the lace into the glue. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I just start pushing that in with my fingers. So I do this kind of like scratching, not scratching too much, but just kind of rubbing the lace and kind of pressing right along the perimeter. And then I take a rat tail comb and I do essentially the same thing. It's just not as abrasive to the wig. I just kind of push down And rub the fish fish tail fish tail uh, the rat tail comb over the glue Whew. it's getting warm in here all right so this is the front done now moving on to the back. I'm just going to kind of pull it back lightly. Don't be doing anything too crazy right now. It still needs its time to set. Um, so I'm going to pull, gently pull it back. I'm going to take just a regular clip and just basically get it off my neck because now I'm going to start putting the glue and the tape all in this area. So I've got the dabbling on, I'm going to let that dry, and then we're going to do tape. Alright, tape is on. Alright, so now I'm going to do four layers of the Ghost Bond XL. Okay, so we're going to let that dry for the 30 seconds, and then we're going to do four layers, and then I'll be back. Alright guys, so I'm back. So we're going to go ahead and put the back of the wig down. You're not going to be able to see much, but I'll show you anyway. All right, so you've got two options um, for wrapping your head. Um, one is a silk scarf. Put it right on the hairline and tie in the back. Crisscross it. Pull it pretty tight. Come up to the front and tie a knot. If you have any spots that are lifting before you put on a wrap, make sure you fix them. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this volume. Alright. Um, so what I do is to take a ace bandage, make myself look like a wounded soldier. The first couple ones that I put around my head are kind of tight, but not that tight. Do this at your own risk. Um, some people probably find that this might give them headaches. It doesn't bother me, but just kind of be aware of that it's just don't do it too tight or you're going to be cutting off circulation to your head. Um, and then I just tuck it in. This is a good look for me. Very good look. Um, so then now I'm just going to go watch some TV or do something like that. I'm going to leave it on for about 10 minutes or so. So just read a magazine, watch TV, do whatever. But I'll be back, show you the finished results, and I should make this mane look fabulous. Alright guys, so with a little help of Fructis Argan Oil Flat Iron Spray 
and bio silk this stuff is amazing by the way for keeping your wig looking awesome forever um, I was able to transform that wonderful poof into this this is the finished product this is the part thing on it see how it's not too shiny on that on the part right there you can see it a little bit if you get super close but so this is the Kim Kardashian wig from RPG show um, I've had it now for two months three months I've been wearing it constantly actually um, it's doing really good Move the back So yeah, so this is how I'm putting my wigs on these days. Um, I hope it works for you. I have I wore this to Cancun and I even got in the water with it, um, and I didn't really see much lifting. Um, I did bring my glue with me just in case to do any touch-ups and things like that, um, but it did really well. So. Uh, let me know what you guys think, if it's worked for you, or if you have any tips or, or tricks for other users, I'm sure they will love it. Um, and like if this helped you, um, it really helps me out if you do that, and also just don't forget to sub subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. See you later, bye!